Hello again, this is Robert Veach, and this is my video review of a Bluetooth car FM transmitter. The seller is Emir, and the brand is CRIACR. Comes with a little instruction booklet, tells you how to uh, download one of the apps right here. They are talking about an app called a Smart Locator. You could download it right here. Just independent of this product, this allows you to locate where your car is parked. But the manual also talks about how to operate the device also. So this is the unit right here. And it's kind of stylish looking. Uh, we're not going to see anything until we power this up in the car. But I'll point out some of the uh, unique features of this. On the uh, side of the unit, there are two USB ports and they look almost identical. One has a little charging symbol on there and that's where you would charge your cell phone by plugging in your cell phone cable right there and you have a, uh, a nice USB based charger and it's 5 volts at 2.1 amps. On the opposite side you have a little music symbol and there's where you could put a USB card, a um, USB stick, and plug it in. It only goes one way. Once you plug that in, you should be able to read those files and then use the buttons on here to play and change tracks. Also, there is a rubberized coating on here. You see the word TF card? If you remove the little rubber cover right there, you have a TF card slot. It's hard to pick it up in the camera. But that's also where you could put a music files, MP3 or WAV files, and play them on there. Now the main feature of this is that it will connect to your FM radio in your car. And also it connects to the Bluetooth of your cell phone. So you have three methods to play music via the Bluetooth streaming music from your cell phone or the TF card on the side or the USB port on the side. So that gives you a lot of flexibility. Now this, if you don't recognize it, this is a typical cigarette lighter plug in the US where it has the plus 12 volts there. Now some of the features of this, I mentioned uh, it's capable of playing MP3, USB or TF card, but it has to be under 32 gigabytes. So keep that in mind when you put the uh, device in there. Also has to be FAT32 as the file structure. The FM radio portion of this that transmits will transmit up to 3 meters, or about 10 feet. And it'll work on the 8708 FM band in the US. The best is to go 106 to 108 megahertz is what they, what they recommend. Now if you have an incoming call and uh, you're playing music, you should be able to hit one of these buttons, the play pause button, and it should allow you to pick up that call. Also, if you double click that, it will redial that last number. There's also a voltage display on here that will show you the voltage of your car battery, the 13.8 volts, which will let you know that your alternator is working. So we're gonna put this in my car and we're gonna bring the camera in there and we're gonna do some additional testing and see how it works. So the first thing I'm gonna try is I'm in my car right now. I'm gonna plug it in and it's gonna display the battery voltage for a couple of seconds. Now it's going into the mode where it wants to connect to the radio. So I'm going to hit the upper button right there and there it displays the frequency 105.6. I'm going to turn on my FM radio and let's increase this. There's 106 Point one, and now I have my radio on 106.1 and it's connected because I don't hear any more static. 
So the first thing I'm going to try is I have a USB stick with an MP3 song on there. And I have it plugged into the port that has a little musical symbol. I'm still tuned to 106.1. And you can see the uh, USB stick is blinking. And I have the sound coming through. Sounds nice, very clear. If you remove the rubber ring right there, there is a little slot for a TF card. And the contacts go a downward direction. And you put the TF card in there till it clicks in place. And then you could put that ring back on, but let's test it out. And there you go, now it's playing that track. And you got the same controls as before. So that's another way to stream music. Next thing I'm going to test is I have a USB cable plugged into the side that has the charge, the lightning bolt symbol. And I have it going to my Nexus 6 right there and it's showing that I have charge going on right now at 2.1 amps. So next thing I'm going to try is connect to the Bluetooth and I have my Bluetooth enabled and I see a device BT69 let's connect to that so it shows that it's now connected. Now we should be able to stream music from the cell phone to the device. Let's see if I can stream some music now. There we go. Let's see if I can call my cell phone and see if it will interrupt the music. hit the bottom button so that worked I was able to make the call you can hear the echo so now it's playing through my stereo system testing one two three testing one two three hello hello so the microphone hello. on the device is working so there's a redial function on here double click this and you can see it's calling the last number on my cell Thank phone. You for calling the Consumer Care Center. Here, currently closed. So, what's my overall opinion about the CRIACR Bluetooth FM transmitter? I really like this product. Um, as you can see, I tested all the functions in my car, and everything worked. The USB charging port worked, the TF card streamed music, and the USB memory stick card streamed music also. And I connected to my cell phone successfully with the Bluetooth and it took incoming calls and also did an outgoing call with the double click of the button. So everything on this thing just worked flawlessly and I test drove it with the car going, didn't hear any noise, it worked just great. Just make sure you always find a nice open channel on the higher end of the FM band. So I'm going to give this product a full 5 star rating on my channel. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.